Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw. Today I'm reviewing the brand new album from Devil Driver entitled Winter Kills. Yes, before I get off into this review, I do want to mention I do have the computer in front of me, so I do not screw up song titles and band member names when I get to the band members and the song titles on this album because I'm very bad with names in general, so I do not want to screw up and look like a fool, so that's why the computer is here. So anyways, let's get off into this review. I discovered Devil Driver on my own years ago when I actually started getting back into metal and I really enjoyed that sound and what really pulled me in was the guitar work and also the vocal performance because at the time of discovering Devil Driver that type of vocal performance from the, from the front man the lead vocalist Dez I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name hope I'm saying that right anyways really stood out to me because before I discovered Devil Driver, the main vocal performances and basically the main vocal style I was hearing was death growls, high screams, and basically thrash type vocals, however you want to categorize that, however you want to pronounce those, just thrash vocals. And hearing Devil Driver was a unique thing because the guitar work was intense, and like I said before, the vocal work was different so when I heard about this brand new album Winter Kills I was excited and anticipating this album and I heard this album about three good times in a row back to back and I you know uh, paused it in between uh, repeats when I'd repeat the full album so I can just you know take a little time and then go back into it and what I really noticed is that this album reminds me of when I first discovered this band back in the day when I was listening to stuff from The Last Kind Words and Fury Over Maker's Hands because when I discovered them, The Last Kind's Word was has been out for a while at that point. So I was listening to their past stuff back then. And not, I'm not saying that Winter Kills is basically part two of those two albums, The Last Kind Words and Fury of Our Maker's Hand. What I'm saying is that Winter Kills has the elements of what made me get into this band, what made me enjoy this band, is that the intense guitar work, the amazing solos, and the vocal performance, and basically that vocal style that really brought me in, and the aggressiveness of this band, really caught my attention, and that's what made me really enjoy Winter Kills more than maybe a typical metalhead who just somehow comes across this, because this album really shows me that the band, even back in the day and now, looking from back then and now to 2013, that they still have that aggression. Now... On the flip side of that positive coin about they have the aggressiveness, they reminded me of a lot of the stuff and they're still using those elements that really make the band stand out, is that I will have to say there are some musical moments on this album that I think doesn't live up to the expectations or basically the level that some of the songs or some of the song, uh, parts on songs that are really setting that bar. There are some musical moments that are not reaching that expectation bar because either they didn't work on it enough or maybe it's just not intended to be up to that level it's supposed to be down here but there's just some moments on this album either it's a beautiful guitar solo or it's a opening riff or it's a chorus line or it's basically the moment in between the verse and the guitar solo there's just some musical moments on this album that set that bar to where it just sounds just amazing, like they took a lot of time to make that sound so epic sounding. And then there's other moments, in my personal opinion, that don't reach that level. Not saying it's bad, it's just there's just some moments that are just not reaching to that level of wow. Um, but overall, when you look at the big picture of Oath of the Abyss, which opens the album, really made me realize where the band's at and where this album, what the tone is for this album is because I felt the aggressiveness, but I also felt this other feeling of that the band is focused in a way, that they're focused on what they're trying to achieve on this album, is that I feel like the, the goal was is that we're going to show the aggressive side of Devil Driver, but on the flip side, we're also going to show this more focused and more basically straight to the point side of us where we're not going to stray too far away from the basic idea of these songs to where we're going to throw you completely off and make you go, well, you were here and now you're going this way. Like, we were going a straight path and then you just zoomed off words. They're focused on the point, but when they're focused and getting straight to that point with each individual song on this album, that they bring the intensity with it. It's not just straight to the point, no excitement, no fun, just straight to the point, done, next track. It's straight to the point, aggressiveness, guitar solo, whatever the case may be. They have some intensity behind that to make this straight to the point focus 
not so bland and boring. They're setting you up for something great on each track. And what I really enjoyed is that that's what this album is. It's a focused album, and it's more of like just straight to the point, like like I've been saying. So that's what really made me like love this album more is that they're, like I said, more focused and not like, oh, let's just, let's just throw in this, this, and this, and this, and this. Straight focused. So some of my personal favorite highlights in this album that really stood out to me on song-wise, Oath of the Abyss that opened the album, Desperate Times, I enjoyed that chorus line. Winter Kills, the title track, really cool. The Appetite, that guitar solo, wow. Curses and Epitaphs, I'm pretty sure that's pronounced, I'm pretty sure, um, if I'm not, sorry. Um, Haunting Refrain, that was pretty cool. Sale. Now, the song Sale, which ends the album now, there is a, there's two bonus tracks. I've heard the bonus tracks. They're pretty good. But Sale is actually a cover from a band. I'm pretty sure A Wall Nation. I could be completely wrong. But it says the front man was turned on to the original by his teenage sons. Uh, that's what the thing tells me. And so, but they made that song Sale sound like a Devil, Dri uh, Devil Driver track. So that was really interesting to listen to. That was a unique way to end this album. They ended with a cover. But uh, I do recommend check out the bonus tracks if you can. So anyways, guys, let's go off into the sound of the band, and then we're done with the review. So anyways, uh, let's continue on. So hope I'm saying his name right again. Dez on lead vocals. Like I said before early in this review and talking about when I discovered this band, that intensity and that unique vocal performance and vocal style from Dez really stands out on this album and really stands out on any past release from Devil Driver because his vocal style is just a unique thing and, and whenever I hear his vocals or basically hear a song by them and I hear that vocal performance from him, I'm like, yep, this is Devil Driver. It's got to be, yep, that I recognize it. It's so easy to uh, basically figure out who it is. His vocal performance on this album is intense. He's in your face. Really interesting lyrical content and uh, great job on his vocals. Really fits well on this album. Let's go off into Jeff and Mike on guitars. The guitar work on Devil Driver's albums that when I first discovered them and listened to this album and looking back at some of the past stuff recently is that the guitar work or the rhythm wise has always been tight and has always had a really unique guitar tone. It's, it's a dark guitar tone yet it's crunchy and heavy and basically when they're trying to go for a very melodic feel which is sometimes on this album and sometimes on past releases they're very melodic when it gets to the melodic part of their songs is that the melodies just sound so crisp, sound so clean. When when we get to the rhythm section, they're hard and hitting, it's aggressive and punching and just going, wow, that's some heavy, intense rhythm playing. The guitar solos on this album are just mind-blowing. Whenever they do happen, which I wish there was more guitar solos on this album, but when it does happen on this album, they are beautiful, intense, satisfying, and overall just epic. And I just enjoy all the guitar solos on this album. I wish there was more. I wish. But... Man, just the guitar work on this album is just impressive. It, it reminds me of when I first discovered this band. It was a great uh, throwback to when I first discovered this band. So, big plus. Interesting enough, Chris Towning on bass. This is, this is his first album with the band. He was touring with them in 2012. Became an official member this year. And this is his first album with the band. I feel like that... I wish his bass would have been turned up a little bit more. I put on the headphones about the second uh, listen through in on this album. I could hear the bass better. It was clicking right along, hitting just like uh, with the guitars and made those guitar riffs extra crunchy, extra heavy. That gives it extra punch, that extra low bass. And when the melodies clicked in, the, the bass was going along very well and adding that lower end to the melodies. So good job to Chris. Drums from John. The drum work on Devil Driver has always been a unique thing for me because the drummer just doesn't give a very simplistic or basically straight to the point drum parts when it ever comes to fast or slow or medium paced sections. The drummer has always been able to give us something more to listen to than just the typical double bass and you know, cymbal snare or, you know, hi-hat snare. It's always been some unique double bass work or unique uh, drum patterns to basically intense that part more or make it even more hectic or basically give it a little bit extra something so we're not exactly going, okay, when's the next section going to be? The drum work, if you listen closely, you can hear some really interesting drum parts. And on this album from John, it's the same thing. The drum work, I really enjoyed it. I love the sound. It's, it's heavy. It goes right along with the uh, guitars and bass. So... Good job to John. Overall, the band sounds amazing on this album, and um, can't wait for the next album. So, 
that is the review guys winter kills devil driver if you are interested in devil driver if you've heard of their past stuff check out this album and if you're a newcomer and you don't really know devil driver i suggest check out this album and see what you think so that's really the review guys thank you guys for watching my rating for this album i'd have to give it a 8.25 8 it's really unique but 8.25 out of 10 that's a fair uh rating for this uh you know eight on a low day but i think 8.25 or 8.5 but i'm saying 8.25 is a good rating for this album so that's the review thank you guys for watching if you like the video like the video and if you like me and you want to see more click my name or subscribe to see more thank you guys for watching see ya